Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through the reporting mechanism with respect to system Verilog version of UVM as well as Python version of UVM. We'll try to see the difference between both, how the reporting mechanism is there in both the methodology. Okay. Now before proceeding to this, uh, let me just give you a bit information about this. So why we are using this reporting mechanism in case of system Verilog version of UV? Because it has some advantages over the uh, traditional ways like by using dollar display. Uh, we cannot control the message printing where in case of this uh, UVM macros we can control the printing of the messages by changing the verbosity level uh, with the help of that set report verbosity and get report verbosity. So already I have taken a video on this how to uh, change the verbosity how to print a default verbosity. I will put a link of that video in the description so you can go through that video first and you will understand the concept uh, easily. Okay now let me here just uh, discuss what is the difference between uh, Python version of UVM and system Verilog version of UVM in reporting mechanism. So before that just we'll see a uh, system Verilog version of UVM reporting mechanism. So we'll see a very simple example. Okay. I will uh, we'll take a class, uh, a component which is extending from UVMM component and in the run phase of that we are just using this uh, reporting macros. As we know, if you see the literature, you will find there are four reporting macros in system Verilog version of UVM. What are those? Uh, tick UVM info, tick UVM warning, tick UVM error and tick UVM friend. Okay, so what we are doing, uh, here uh, let's see. Uh, First we have to add these two lines in order to get the access of all UVM macros as we are using this tick UVM info a warning error and fatter. In order to get the access of all the macros we are including tick include UVM macros dot sbh and then we are importing UVM package colon colon start so it will give us the access of UVM package. Okay now here a class component which is extending from UVM component end class component. Inside that first we have to use the factory registration macro as it is a component we have to use tick uvm component it is and its default constructor expecting two arguments. Now inside the run phase as, as it is a task we are just raising an objection and dropping an objection and here we are just printing the messages using info warning error and factor. So first argument you can give a string uh, you can give the uh, a string like in double code you can give the class name or you can use get type name so this get time name will give the current class name so here it will give the component here. or you can use get full name in order to print the complete hierarchy name. then the second is uh, in double string we have to provide our message so I here just I am giving this is info and in case of info we have to provide third argument as a verbosity which may be either none, low, medium, high, full or deep. You can use it. Now in case of warning, error and fatal, the third argument is not needed. The verbosity level is not needed. By default the verbosity for all these three is UVM none in case of system very lock version of UVM. Now get type name will print a current class name and just we are printing this is a warning, this is a error and this is a fatal. Now inside a top module, just within initial begin block, we are calling this run test method, which is a task defined in the UVM rule. It will call the it will initiate all the phases starting from build phase to the final phase. So here it will initiate this run test, and we are see, we will see the info messages, info warning, error info. Now let me just run this code. If you just run this code we'll see a result on the console after running this code you will find the message is something like this okay so the component class it is printing as you can see here 
this first is as you can see it is printing uh, we, we are typing get type name here so it will print a class current class name so it is a component right so this is the info this info message is there you can find similarly for warning this is a warning this is a error and this is a fatal for all these four reporting macros now similarly we will try to see how these reporting macros are there in case of a python version of ruby now let me show you that here so similarly here in case of python version of uvm we have to import py uvm and from py uvm we have to import star it is uh, you know equivalent to import uvm package colon colon star here. now if you see the uvm component uvm UV, uml you will find this uvm report object okay is there uh, this uh, okay this uh, uvm report object class is there which create an object name self dot logger and that is used to create logging messages and send messages messages to the log file using python logging modules okay. this is a component actually okay So here also we are taking a very simple class, okay? Class component which is extending from UVM component. So in the parenthesis we have to use UVM component in case of Python. We we we, we don't have to use extend, uh, you know, keyword here, because in in case of Python, if we are using the concept of inheritance, we have to use parenthesis and we have to provide that class parent class. Okay? Now as the run phase, it is only the coroutine, we have to use a sync keyword before this def and this is a run phase, in the, in the parenthesis we have to provide a self key. Here we are using raise objection and drop objection. So the syntax for that here, self dot raise objection, self dot drop objection and inside that we are using this logger, uh, you know, in case of it is here in python uv self dot logger dot info and in the parenthesis string uh, in double code or you can use a single code we are providing this is the info for warning this is a warning for error this is an error for critical this is a critical and for debug this is a debug messages just we are printing now in the sample base class you can use sample base class or you can just use this py uvm direct py uvm dot test decorator here on the top of this component class also but i'm using here another class and in the build phase of this uh, base class which is extending from uvm test i'm just creating the component class okay this component class using create method so how the create method is there in case of py uvm self we have to use a keyword dot cmp any name is equal to this component class name this component class name we have to provide dot create and with the parenthesis the cmp which we have used over here in this string we have to be comma self keyword we have to provide here if you see the create method in case of uh, system verilog version of uv you will find it is like uh, cmp is equal to component colon colon type id colon colon create we have to be but here no need to give this colon colon type id colon colon just dot create method is enough so here we are creating that very simple after running this code if you just type make here yeah, you will find some messages on the console so as you can see here this is the info which is there in the line number 55 you can see here in the print uh, in the console also line number 55 and the class name is cmp it is there in cmp class right we have created component class and the message is this is an info then this is a warning then error then critical this this is a debug message is not printing here 
so for printing that message we have to use self a dot self a set logging level hierarchy or logging level set underscore logging level i will i will show you that in the next video just let me show you how you can print that debug message so if you just setting the logging level hierarchy to debug this debug message is also will also print here we will understand that in the next video how to set that logging levels by using self dot set logging underscore level and by using self dot set logging level hierarchy we'll try to understand that in the next video so as you can see after uh, setting this set logging level hierarchy debug you will find this debug message will also come so this is what a simple explanation how the reporting mechanism is there in case of system very log version of uv and in case of a python version of uv in the next video we will try to explore more about this reporting mechanism and another topics also with respect to system very log uvm as well as in case of uh, with respect to python version of uvm so with this i hope you have understood the concept of reporting mechanism the comparative reporting uh, mechanism in case of python version of uv and system very log version of uv and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you